The following clip from Train Signal's PowerPoint 2010 course shows students how to trigger animations to audio bookmarks. So now we need to change these animations and when they occur. So starting with the PowerPoint text boxes, in the animation pane, click on the very first animation for that PowerPoint text box, hold down your shift key, and then select on its exit animation as well. You need to have both of those selected in your animation pane for them to both be triggered with one bookmark. So with those two selected, let's go up to the Animations tab and click on the Trigger drop-down menu in our Advanced Animation group. Now from there, you'll see two options. There's on click of, and then it'll list all of the different objects on the slide that a person could click on. But we want it set to a bookmark. And since we have all of our bookmarks created, we will see all of those bookmarks displayed in the on bookmark menu. And the PowerPoint text box animations, we want to have triggered to bookmark number one. So click on bookmark number one, and you'll notice that change occur in your animation pane. Now it's set to trigger with that first bookmark. Now we need to go and do that for the rest of our animations as well. So clicking on the first two animations, we want to set that to the trigger on bookmark, bookmark two. And same thing for the rest of them. This one's going to be bookmark three. This one's going to be bookmark four. This one set to bookmark five, and this one will be set to the very last bookmark, which should be two entrance animations. And now, just to see what it looks like so far, let's click the play icon in the animation pane. And that is what our animations look like. Let's see them in slideshow view. So now you have even more control over when animations can occur through the use of bookmarks and bookmark triggers. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.